I was one of a, about a thousand evangelicals who were in New York City three weeks ago at that event, and Donald Trump referred to religious liberty a number of times. He, he has a high sensitivity to that issue. He knows Christians are being beheaded in the Middle East. He knows Christians are losing their rights and privileges of the First Amendment here in this country. However, uh, I was on a panel right after he left, and I said, someone will need to help him connect the dots between religious liberty. What's causing it for overwhelmingly is the LBGTQ radical agenda that's pressed upon us. And so we're finding with the radical homo homosexual agendas that, that the that the, the, the I, I did radio interviews for um, for Alliance of Any Freedom and my little one minute commentaries and over 50% of them just cover lawsuits of Christians being sued all across America you're aware of all these cases being sued over one issue that they're trying to stand for marriage and marriage is one man one woman and that is the epicenter of most of the loss of our religious liberty at the present time. And that's what caused P Pence to uh, make some, I think, poor decisions in Indiana. Agreed. Agreed. The pressure from that community and trying to please them. And we, we're headed to a, we think we've hit, hit the collision course. We haven't hit it yet, Jim. It's, it, it, the potential for the silencing, punishing, uh, shutting out of uh, Christians in the public square is just imminent. Remember when they used to say, what do I do in my bedroom is my, my own? I yeah. do remember. Well, that, that, that wasn't that long ago. It was just kind of tolerate us. Laos. Then the next was, oh, no, we, we, we want you to affirm us, and now we're going to force you to participate.